In this tutorial I will show you how to add purchase order in Starcode. There are four interfaces by which you can do this. Option number one, under quick access heading you will find an icon named purchase order. If you click on it, then it will add purchase order for you. Option number two, in the toolbar you will see this image, and if you hover your mouse over it, then it says add new purchase order. If you click on it, then it will add purchase order for you. Option number three, if you click on the purchase button up here, drop down menu will appear and you can add purchase order by clicking over here. Option number four, go to purchase management module. And click on the button add new and then it will add purchase order. Now let's talk about how to add purchase order. Purchase order consists of three sections. Purchase order. Shipping. And notes. We will discuss each section one by one. Let's discuss section purchase order. PO number means purchase order number and it is a unique number assigned to purchase order automatically. Purchase order has five statuses, draft, sent, partially received, received and closed. Draft means initially when you have just made a purchase order. Sent means when you have sent the purchase order to your vendor. Partially received means when you have partially received the goods. Received means when the total goods have been received. Closed means when goods have been received and payment has been made. In this status the purchase order becomes read only and you cannot edit it. Sent date is the date when you will send the purchase order to your vendor. Here, you will select the name of your vendor. Corresponding vendor's email address will be automatically displayed over here. If you have a new vendor, you can add by clicking on this button. In delivery date field, you have to add the date at which the goods have to be delivered to you by the vendor. By this button, you can email this purchase order to your vendor. You can either disable or enable tax for the items that you are purchasing according to your requirement. Check stock levels allows you to check the stock whose level has become less than a particular value that you have to add. For example, in order to see which stock has reached level below 30 we will enter 30 and click OK. Now you can see all those stocks whose quantity is less than 30. Through search inventory button, you can see a particular stock based on these values. Now, you will add items to purchase order by clicking on add item button. Click on search item. Double click on the item that you want to purchase. Add details such as purchase price and order quantity. Now, click on add button. Click close and item is added to purchase order. You can add a new item to purchase order, edit an item or delete an item. In order to receive stock, first you have to select a product and then click receive stock. Enter received quantity. You have two options. Either add items to existing stock or create a new stock and add items to it. Click on update stock. There are three payment statuses. Not paid. Partially paid and paid. Now click save. Let's move towards shipping module. If you check the box named ship to company shipping address then under shipping details heading, your company's details will be shown automatically. However, you can change this information according to your requirement if you want to. The details of vendor, whom you chose in purchase order module, will be shown here. In ship via you have to enter the courier service such as UPS or DHL. Now let's move towards the third section called notes. You can enter the notes here if you want to. This rest of the part is same as in purchase order module and has already been explained. You will see that a new row of purchase order has been added. 